Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to make, I've already done one half, I've already matted one half, but we're going to go, this was our last video where we did the embellishing uh, on the, uh, in the inserts here. Uh, but we're going to mat the inside here and I have a few inserts. So I've already matted the inside on this side, but I'll show you that in just a second. This is the Simply Magical portrait version that we are using and we are making the meal, 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 meal. One day, one day you guys, one day. I wonder if I uh, make it focus. Nope, it's just not going to work. Okay, that's fine. So this is the paper collection that we are using. You can use whatever paper collection you want. That's just one that I chose. And I have a playlist for this project from beginning to end. I will link it up here and it's down below in the description box. We've got this and then we've got this set up over here and then we've done all of this. So if you wanna catch up, then check out that playlist. There's also a dedicated Amazon list to this project and everything, all of that is linked down below the video. So there's a description box down there, the show more section, or just an arrow sometimes. So it's down there. Um, you just click it, click it, and all that, all that drops down, and you can, uh, you can find what you need that way. Okay, so to mat this, what I did, I've already, I've already I cut them out and everything because I'm just trying to save time. I took the mats to this page, which is P8, and I did this twice because I did the other side the exact same way. I um, traced this out. It was this is an eight by eight. Here, I guess I can show you that. This is an eight by eight pa uh, paper. Did I use them all? Surely not. Oh, there's one. So it was this. It was an eight by eight sheet of cardstock, and I traced this page out. And then we're going to use this piece to mat the inside of the pocket. And then for I took this mat, which is again, page um, 26, and I traced two of these out from this eight by eight piece of patterned paper. So I've got this piece left over and that's it. That's all I did. And I've inked them up already. So if this video gets long, oh, well, I'll put, I'll put timestamps below the video, you guys, if you want to skip around so we have two magnets here so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to make sure that they are secure by using some double-sided adhesive that way they don't like somehow i don't think they will not with those glue dots but so they don't somehow break loose and um don't function anymore because they're not where they're supposed to be so i just took one eighth inch tape. I'm just trying to get rid of that roll, the one that's falling apart. <laughs> and so this is going to go here. Is there, um, yeah, see, I, I just traced them side by side. So this one's going to go here, and then this one's going to go here, and then this one's going to go inside of here. So it's going to look like that. All right, so I am just going to take some Fabri-Tac, and I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on all three pieces. Use whatever glue you want. Uh, I was going to use this fabric tack because I have to put, I have to go inside the pocket. Now this isn't big enough to cover that whole inside pocket, so just just letting you know, you didn't ma make a, a mistake or anything. It's just going to cover enough to where you won't see anything white um, on the pocket there. Okay, so. First thing I want to do is I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove the backing on this little piece of tape. Well, let's just go ahead and do. Whoop! I just stuck my hand right in that glue. Right in the glue. All right, we're going to start with this one. And we are going to mat the inside. Now I don't. I'm, I don't think we're going to do any sort of embellishing um, on these today. We're just going to mat them, and then I was going to do a few inserts 
and then that was going to be it. So I haven't planned any of the embellishing, but I kind of want to kind of sit on it anyway because I, like I said in my last video, I want to, I want to try to get my covers done. So that's what's hopefully that's what's going to be my focus next is to get so that I can, so that I can use my embellishments, so that I can be a little bit more, a little bit more free uh, with. The different embellishments and things that we have that came with the collection so the ones you can print out i'm not so concerned about because we can print out some more but the ones that um come with the paper collection that we bought i want to make sure that i use them uh wisely okay so there's that so there's the pocket right here's what the other side looks like so they look exactly the same the two pockets here and then when it's closed up you can see the little bit of green peeking out right there okay so I've got a collection of things. Let me show you the first thing. I added this in. You do not have to add this in. These are postcards from my, my printable postcards. This is what the Etsy listing looks like, even though I know you're probably not gonna be able to see it very well. I haven't figured out that part of my lighting yet. Um, but this is what the Etsy listing looks like, and I will link it down below, but the, I'm just now added the, adding this in, so if you don't have them, that's okay. If you have the real deal, if you have real vintage postcards, use those. You don't have to use the printed ones. Um, so I'll print it off this page here. So there's, in the set of postcards, there's another jumbo size, and I like that size too, but for this pocket, I just wanted to use these two small ones. So I've already cut them out. Well, I already, actually already had them cut out because, um, oops, where's my other one? What did I do with it? I already had them cut out because they were in my book, and but I wanted to print out another one. My book, meaning this, Ephemera Holder, I made this um, video. If you guys want to see this, it is a project, so it's got a playlist. I will link that playlist up there. Love this thing. I've got many of them. Um, did I put the, I must have put the other one away. I wonder why I did that. Well, anyway, so I, j I was going to use those two postcards. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll, um, well, no, I'm going to leave that out. Just so I remember that. Oh, we could use these smaller ones. And so, I've got that. And then I've also got this. My printer printed kind of funky. I don't know if you can see those weird lines, not the scripty lines, but like there's this weird, my print, I don't know, I think my printer's mad at me or something, but anyway, um, we're gonna have to have a talk, me and my printer. Also think it needs an update, which terrifies me, terrifies me. These are printed onto cardstock, 80 pound cardstock, and I have already inked them, cut them out and inked them. This is printed onto 28 pound paper, and this one is from the, Photomats 2 Essentials, and oops, and that's what that listing looks like. It's linked down below, and I believe this one is for a 3 by 4 photo, so it's, um, yeah, 3x4 photo size. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half down the middle, right down the middle, you could score if you want to, but this is just, you could just put this on regular old copy paper if you want to. I'm trying to cut back on the, on the, um, thickness of what's going to be in this pocket because I've got one more insert that I think will be fun and cute and it kind of goes along with everything. So I'm just going to put glue around the edges of where these are going to be attached and hopefully hopefully get glue where they're going to be attached <laughs> and whoop. and I'm going to fold it. Um, it my printer's mad right I, i'm sorry i've got so much on my brain right now my printer is mad at me and it's not behaving correctly and it does want an update and i'm i'm just refusing at the moment but um when, maybe when I, before I start another project, I'll do an update. <laughs> but I'm going to use it anyway, even though it's messed up just a little bit. I'm going to use it anyway. I'm okay with that. 
So anyway, I am just going to sit here and burnish for a second and let all of the glue kind of spread. And then I'm gonna cut it out. So this way we have a double-sided folio, fo folio, photo mat. And it's not gonna be super thick. So then you could go and put your picture right over top and it's still not going to be super thick. Okay. All right, so I'm going to ink these up real quick, front and back, and I'll be right back. Okay, they're inked up and I think we should stamp them with the Unicorn Heroes, Hero Hughes Creative Paper Craft, no, Hero Arts <laughs> Pigment Ink. Let me make sure there's nothing on this one real quick. I need a scrap of paper. Oh. Of course there's ink on there. All right, I'm gonna have to clean it a little bit more thorough. It's <laughs> my stamp cleaner. Oh, I am. I am. I got my dehydrator going, and. It, that was just my timer to remind me to go check because I've got some chamomile in there and I've got some calendula. Calendula. Um, is that how we decided we were saying it? <laughs> so that's what that timer was for. Sorry. He a little loud, wasn't it? Okay. So. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if I can get that on. This is linked down below in the description. Okay. I'm nervous. I don't know why. So I'm gonna just hold it there for a second. Oh, not too bad. This is from my stamp set, you guys. This is also linked down below if you want to check it out. Um, I have a link to May May's a store for this. And I checked today and it's sold out again. But if you, if you go um, and get put on the list, you know, it says notify me or whatever, then they'll let you know when it's back in stock. But yeah, sold out again. But if you, you know, if you let them know you want it, then they'll get it back for you. Also, uh, why don't you guys go leave a review for the stamp set? There's a place where you can leave a review. I bet she would love that. I bet Mamie would love that. I would love that. So, um, do you think I should let these dry before heat? Is this something you have to heat set? Do we already talk about this? It says waterproof for watercolors and markers. Ooh. I'm going to heat set it just in case. Probably doesn't need it, but you never know. Okay. Oh, that lid's on there snug. cleaner all over me. Okay. And 
know, it might be kind of fun to have a butterfly. All right, all right there. Uh, on there, we might, that might be something we'll do here in a minute, maybe, we'll see. Okay, so I've got those two. So I've got postcard, postcard. Um, see, I can, yeah. Because it didn't go all the way down, I didn't put a piece of tape, I don't think, when I did that one. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, postcard, photo mat, like that. And then, I wanted to do another booklet. So this is kind of what I've come up with. Okay, so, isn't this cute, first of all? Isn't this just sweet? So what I did was, I mean, we're gonna do it together, but I just made myself a quick little booklet because I wanted to have more space for writing. And you can still, we may not, we may not need, we may not need this uh, postcard. Huh, I kinda, I don't know, I'm wondering now, I kinda like that. Maybe we can just put it in here for now. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like seeing that. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll just have to play it by ear. We'll put it behind and see if, what we like better. Um, I haven't attached to this. This is just one of the pieces from the paper collection that we cut off. I haven't attached it, attached it. It's just a couple little pieces of tape because I think I want to do a little bit more, but I'm not sure what. So this is just kind of like a placeholder so that I can remember to come back and maybe do a little bit more to this. I just thought this was super, super sweet, right? Okay. So my thinking is, that is so cute. Okay. Okay. So this is this is a freebie that's in my Facebook group. It's a vintage ledger. And if you don't do Facebook, I have um, an Etsy listing for this freebie as well. I will link it down below. And um, it's like a dollar something. I don't know. It's just whatever it costs me pretty much to um, list it. But it is a freebie in my Facebook group. So just FYI. Um, and it says that on the listing in Etsy too. This is a free template in my Facebook group. My Facebook group is linked down below. So if you want to grab this, then, uh, and you're not part of my Facebook group, then, um, you know, click to join my Facebook group, answer the questions, and then one of the um, moderators will check you out and accept you into the group. Okay. So... Here's what I did. Here's what I'm thinking. I haven't picked what I want to put on the front yet, but um, I, I obviously know what I did because I've already made one, but here's what I did. I don't know why I said here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, I just folded that in half. I took a piece of coffee stained paper, folded that in half. This is so easy, you guys. This is so easy. I folded that in half, and then I got me a couple sheets of my vintage, what's that say? I love Eddie. Eddie was my brother. I have a couple sheets of, or I'm going to grab a couple sheets of this vintage notebook paper. And I'm going to fold this in half. that and I'm going to kind of scooch everything down to the bottom here or whatever put a paper clip or two just to hold it together I could have put a clip clip but I don't know why I grabbed a paper clip and then we're gonna do the simplest stitch ever right we're gonna poke three hoes one in the center, one towards the bottom, and one towards the top. It's my new fancy dancy pokey tool that I really dig. Oh, also, 
I, um, I've been using my mom's beeswax that I, that I, um, found in her stuff when she passed away. So I'm just kind of made a, 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 a waxing thingy for here <laughs> for using when I sew. But I have linked in my Amazon list this, this um, beeswax holder. So I went ahead and since I linked it, I like to own the things that I link to you guys. And also, by the way, if it, if you click on something, a, a link, let's say it says it's this, and it goes, it takes you to something else. That's not my doing. That's that's an Amazon thing. I don't I don't know. Sometimes they um, change, they're allowed to change their listings or change the item that they're listing. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. So I thought I would try it out for you guys today. So you, I can, okay. Maybe I can make my mom's wax into a, a circle and stick in there. But I thought I would try out the actual wax that's in here. So this is that gold uh, striped baker's twine. And so you're supposed to, let's see, well, let's see, that's not, that's not right. Um, <laughs> I'll get with it here in just a second. You're just supposed to run, you're just supposed to run your string through it. I wonder if you could do, why not, right? it a couple times yeah okay I, I, I probably don't need to be that aggressive because I've made some slits <laughs> or maybe this is just such skinny string I don't think it matters uh, at all so I waxed my thread my Baker's twine and I've got a really big eyed needle so I'm gonna go through the middle and then go down to the bottom Skip the middle, go up to the top, and then go through the middle again. We've done this a million times. It's the easy, easy, easy. Then you want to go, eh, eh, oop. Did you hear me rip the paper? Oops. I'm going to tie a knot first. And then I'm just going to tie a little bow. Okay, so, I mean, it worked just fine, but I did want to show you that. Oh, I'm going to have to make room for it in my, my little, my crafty tray over there. Okay, so I'm going to remove this paper clip. So then, before you cut it, you want to just give it a little bit of a burnish. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to glue, so this is just printed onto 28 pound uh, paper. You could use copy paper if that's what you have. I'm going to glue this copy stained paper to that cover. And this also helps cut down on the bulk, but it also makes it pretty cool. Flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. I can see through where the print is. At least I think I can. So, look at that. I gotta burnish that down. Okay, and then. I'm going to trim it up. All together like this. I'm also going to take my scissors and I'm going to round these corners a little bit like this. But then I'm also going to go and like gouge out a little bit. 
so that it doesn't look so perfectly cut. really cool. I'm going to check to make sure that, yeah, so that's see how that is perfectly lined now. You would never know those were two separate pieces of paper. And then I'm going to ink it up really quick, front and back, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it inked up, front and back. So I was thinking about what I wanted to put on the cover, and I think it might be cut. okay so I'm just gonna cut this is one of the pages we cut some other pieces away I think I'm gonna try I'm just gonna do some layering and we'll see how that goes because I haven't I haven't really planned it out or anything so I'm just gonna cut some pieces off here so I thought we could maybe do the eggs <laughs> and maybe layer it with the butterfly, but that doesn't make any sense at all, does it? I don't know, let's see, what else? Well, it's probably gonna, the same situation is probably gonna happen. I'm gonna just barely tack it on, maybe, and come back to it. Oops. I don't have the, the fingernails anymore. glued down. Ah. Well, I may have cut this whole thing up for nothing. It's really the only thing that's sticking in my mind. Okay. Or if it's saying that might be good. Well, that might be good. Might be that might be kind of cute for now and we can come back and 
like I did the other one. We're just going to temporarily attach it and then we can always come back and give it a little bit more oomph. That's what we're going to do today. So I'm just going to take and put just a couple little strips of tape on there. It's ATG tape. It's not, I don't think it's permanent permanent. And I'm just going to stick it on here for now. Okay. I also wonder if we should put something on the back side because that's going to be seen as well. I didn't put anything on the back side of the other one. It's kind of an idea though. The eggs on the back side? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense though. Well, it's an idea. It's a thought. So I'll just put it in there like this for now. Boy, it took me a long time to make that decision, didn't it? Good grief. Okay. So then that could go in there. I can have my postcard. So what do we like better? Do we like it just the booklet? Or do we like the other things added? I don't know. I think I like them both ways. I really do. We could always um maybe add a tuck over here to maybe put these things in if we wanted to i don't know what do you guys think or an up tuck an up tuck a, or or have a tuck at work goes <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. I, have, I know words <laughs> what do you guys think we might do that so that those can so anyway let me know what you think we'll leave it like this for now we will leave it like this for now okay so leave me a comment let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and be sure to um make sure you're subscribed to my channel and i'm gonna put all of these in my crafty tray because i don't want to lose them make sure you turn your bell notifications on and I think that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.